how to set up shipping on a Shopify with a Printful. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up the shipping within a Printful onto your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Printful.com then create an account within this platform. The second thing you need to go to Shopify.com and sign into your account. This is very easy and very simple. Now, when you finish these two steps, you are going back to Printful. Then you are going to connect your store of your Shopify to the Printful platform. And to do that, you are going simply to click on stores within the left side menu right here. Click on store. And here we have the connection or the uh, create or connect option for example here we have the uh, shoes platform so we are going to click on shoes platform because uh, shopify and the other platforms are very supported and easy to access within a printful so we have here a lot of options we have shopify etsy woocommerce wix squarespace and etc so Go ahead and select Shopify from these, click on connect and it will take you to this platform or this uh, short guide. All you have to do is to create your Shopify account if you don't have. The second thing is to install the Printful app on Shopify. So simply go ahead and click on get the app and it will take you to the Shopify app store. So we are going to install it in a few seconds. Just wait for the process to be done. It will take us to the uh, admin dashboard. I will click on install and here we are going to grant the authorization to be installed in our store. So the next step right there is to wait for the app to be uh, fully loaded into your store. And here we have it. You have already an account with your uh, this one. So you are going to click on continue. Here we have everything set. Connect to uh, this one. I'm going to sign in with another account. So we are going to set another email. I will go and continue with this one because this is my uh, Printful account. So we are going to see right there and my store is right here. We have the store set. So everything is set right there. You are going to set the shipping. Within this left side menu, we're going to select settings. Select settings. And from there, you are going to see the shipping. Select stores and it will drop down a menu like that. Here we have the shipping. Click on shipping. And now I am going simply right there to set the shipping from here. We have the store right there of Shopify. Now you are going to set this import not synced. We are going to set this import. Can go ahead and import for products from your store right there and here it has read all the products that we have now to add the uh, shipping option so we are in need to add a product first so simply go ahead and click on add product right there and select the product that you are going to add to your store or shopify store for example let's go ahead and set this one i'm going to set this double wall clear plastic Tumblr, click on it, and now we are going to set a design for it. As you can see, we have the product, we have the layers, the upload option, and clip art, and etc. So, all you have to do is to upload. I'm going to upload right here an image. Click on understand, save and close. Now, I'm going to upload an image that I have already selected or created using Canva. It is highly recommended for you to get that image within the uh, PNG format and also the uh, transparent background. So we're going to see if we have it. I think that I have created already one. So I'm going to search for it carefully like that. And I think that I have, I have it right there. And here we have it. This is the image. I'm going to open that image and wait for a few seconds until it will be uploaded right there. Here we have it. 
it is a processing right now so we are going to select it and here we have it so we are going to click or select that image click on apply and right there it will be set uh, i'm going to make some zoom maybe and as you can say you see right there the image doesn't meet up or on the print requirement so we are going to scale it right down like that and you are going to see it right there so you can go ahead and make it a little bit smaller or something like that also go ahead and zoom it a little bit so it will go ahead right there now everything is set the print quality is okay to 90 dpi you can go ahead and adjust that or make the file a little bit uh, better you can set the transform the position of this one you can crop the image made uh, make or make sort of patterns and also you can remove the background if you have a background uh, hopefully you are going to understand this because it is very simple this was for the design and you can switch to the mockups since you have uploaded already the design you can go ahead and see that mockups wait for a few seconds and here we have it this is the mockup this is the front view the rear view this side the left and right and here we have the full mockup it is set now let's go back to the design everything is set i will click on continue right there we have the mockup you can create your own mockup or choose mockups like that go ahead and choose whatever mockup that you want for example this one or that one this also i'm going to choose this one because it is very attracting click on continue and here we have choose the description language obviously you are going to set it english but if you are going to use it for a different language you can go ahead and set whatever language it is available right there the product title i'm going to put it here uh coffee best for example best like that coffee coffee uh, let's say that it is um plastic or recyclable i'm going to put here coffee cup like that or plastic cup plastic cup like this the description can go ahead and set it like this this is a generic or a random description from the website or you can go ahead and set your own description here we have the benefits of on-demand manufacturing i can add as uh, some info about on-demand manufacturing on its benefits to the product description you can add it like that or you can go ahead and select or enable the size guide here choose the size guide the measurement system you can go ahead and, and set it to imperial or metric here we can go ahead and set some tags for example coffee like that you are going to separate them with comma uh, cup i'm going to set cup coffee head like that coffee head like that set it with a comma and etc here you have to uh, enable this product visibility and for the collection since you have connected your uh, shopify account it will read all of the collection that you have set on your account we can continue and here we have the price now you can go ahead and uh, set the free shipping on your storefront or set like that here we have the price you can go ahead and set uh, the price right there i'm going to set it for example for 25.99 so go ahead and set it like that and here we have it you can see the print for price the retail price and you can calculate your profit and now i'm going to click on submit to our store it is generating the print files and mockups and then it will be adding them directly to our store after you have added the product it is very simple right there to set the uh, shipping rate and also when you read the guide of the uh, printful right there get a uh, shipping speeds and prices for your print on demand products you're going to see right there the shipping rates as you can see getting your orders where they need to go here we have some uh, some documentation how to set up shipping on your online store get printful shipping rates for all products and regions the second step is to set the shipping rates that fit your pricing strategy and then you are going to set up shipping on your store and how to do that set up like that and add it manually for example for the shopify store you're going to set it manually you are going to create a, uh, a a shipping method within your shopify store 
So you are going to settings within your Shopify store. Then you are going to select shipping and delivery. Uh, now we have this one at shipping profiles. As you can see, it is set automatically for the printful, but we are going to set here. We have nine zones and a low location. After you have set the product and also the shipping uh, profile, it is uh, set automatically. You can go ahead and create your own profile by seeing the uh, shipping rates like that. You are going to see here for your t-shirts, also the hoodies and etc. You can go ahead and put a unified, uh, as you can see here, uh, amount or fixed price like that or a flat rate and add a menu like this. You can add the products, add or name that category or this profile name, set the shipping origins and set it to the right market. When you finish, click on save. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one.